All right, guys, let's see how we can install and use a Terraform together with a LXD under Ubuntu. Registering uh, LXD as a provider will give us opportunity to create very fast container environments. For the link uh, between the two, we'll be using uh, the following uh, Terraform provider, LXD. So first things first, let's uh, set up LXD and LXC on our system and then we'll install uh, Terraform. So we'll go to the terminal and we type sudo uh, snap install lxd and this should uh, fetch and install uh, lxd as a snap on our Ubuntu distribution. All right, so lxd is installed. Now we will need to set up both uh, the container daemon as well as the container client. So we'll type uh, sudo lxd init here we'll be answering with the default answers with a few exceptions so we'll just uh, set up our device as uh, five uh, gigabytes of size we would like for our lxd to be available over the network in order to uh, connect uh, to it directly we need to specify a password for the clients. So you can just type a certain password here. That's it pretty much. And the LXD daemon is uh, configured. Let's try to access the LXD server uh, via LXC. All right, so if we type sudo LXD in it and then dump, we can see the uh, configuration of our uh, currently running LXD daemon and uh, we saw that we have configured the HTTP address on which it will be listening uh, to be on localhost and uh, this port 8443 and uh, now it's time to configure LXC to be able to connect to this address and port by using a remote and so if we type LXC remote list uh, we'll see that still um, the preferred connection for the LXC is the local one which is default and is connecting to the local uh, Unix socket so now we'll create one new remote in order uh, to uh, be able to connect to LXD so we'll be using the following command LXC remote add and here is the name of the remote and we'll be connecting uh, to localhost and automatically will accept the security certificate and uh, we're asked for password we enter the password we just entered while uh, initializing the LXD and uh, now uh, the certificate is issued and stored uh, so we should be able uh, to connect to the remote if we check again uh, the remotes, we see that uh, uh, here it is and here is the connection, but it's still not default. Let's uh, set it up as a default. We will use LXC remote set default and then the name of the remote. And uh, now uh, this will be our uh, preferred default remote. And let's type LXC list. So with the LXC list, we'll be able to see the currently available and running uh, containers on our system. So far, we don't have uh, such. Now we can also specify some restrictions towards the creation of containers. So uh, we'll create a new profile based on the default profile. So that was our uh, default LXD profile. And uh, now if we type LXC profile copy uh, the default profile uh, to uh, an Ubuntu profile, it will create a new profile. And we see now that we have a new profile, Ubuntu profile. Now let's customize a little bit this profile because we'll be using it while uh, creating uh, new containers. The size will be limited to 512 uh, megabytes. Now let's limit also the memory uh, size and the amounts of uh, CPUs used. So we'll use just one core 
also we would like immediately uh, the container to start on uh, rebooting and we'll enable this auto start also uh, so now the Ubuntu profile is configured and we are ready to fetch and store the first image into our LXD. So we'll do this with the following command. So basically we'll be using LXD uh, configuration uh, remote that we had. So it's my LXD. We'll be downloading and using the Ubuntu focal version. The alas will allow us to uh, save this in the system and references uh, with the focal name. And we see that uh, we need to wait a little bit while the image is fetched from internet and uh, saved uh, locally. Now we can say uh, LXC image list and uh, we see this image uh, here uh, with the alias of uh, focal the description and uh, its size. Now we are ready uh, to install and set up uh, Terraform. So from the website, you can go uh, to download and then Debian Ubuntu apt packages. And here you have to copy those lines and uh, then uh, issue the sudo apt install Terraform. Here in this system, I'll be using uh, just a simple a snap to install uh, Terraform and it will not be the latest version but it is just for uh, demonstration purposes so I'll type uh, sudo snap install Terraform if we type Terraform uh, version we see that uh, it has been installed once we have uh, the Terraform installed the next goal is to grab the Terraform provider for LXD in order for Terraform to be able to use LXD to create containers. Here on the GitHub page, we have uh, some instructions. Uh, basically, we need to uh, download uh, the Terraform provider for our distribution. With wget, you can uh, get the archive. Uh, so here I am in the temporary folder and I have uh, downloaded with uh, wget the version 1.4.0. I'll unzip it, so I'll type unzip Terraform provider and now the next step is to create plugins directory inside of the uh, configuration of uh, Terraform. So we'll create this uh, directory. We need to copy the unzipped information or our provider into this plugins directory. Okay, to the Terraform uh, plugins directory and now the provider is inside of Terraform. All right, so now I can go to the uh, Terraform directory and here I have uh, created one custom directory with two files, LXD container and a provider. Let's check the provider with a nano. So we see here that uh, this is the connection with the LXDs. Now we're using the my LXD. Uh, so this is the remote that we are connecting to and the address, the protocol and the password we set in the initialization of uh, LXD. So that's the configuration for the provider. And uh, now uh, let's check uh, the other file, LXD container. So what's interesting here is that uh, we're using the Ubuntu profile we installed earlier, and we can also specify uh, different uh, configurations uh, since this is a resource that uh, Terraform will uh, render for us. Okay, so it's also saved and now we can uh, run the following uh, commands. Uh, terraform init and we see that the Terraform is uh, successfully initialized. So now let's see the changes to the infrastructure. We can type uh, Terraform uh, plan and also we see the following uh, information that uh, the Ubuntu container will be created, the image that will be fetched and uh, we can apply this uh, configuration. Uh, so we can type uh, Terraform apply. Uh, here of course yes. It's using the LXD uh, container the following will be uh, created. All right, we uh, reissue the command in order to be able to uh, apply the configuration. 
so now if we type our Excel list, uh, we see that uh, Terraform has created a container uh, for us with an image of uh, uh, Focal based on our uh, configuration. And uh, that's what we wanted uh, to achieve. And this gives us an opportunity to use Terraform locally uh, for uh, certain uh, learning purposes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the information. And if you liked the uh, tutorial, you can uh, subscribe uh, to the channel for more.